Video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use a border design, sort of frame design, custom shape, to create oh, more unusual frames using masks. Now, first thing to do, I'm just going to quickly go over here to the custom shape tool. I'm going to use it as a shape, and here's some of the frame designs. These ones are available on the Graphic Extras website, but of course, there's lots of other frame sets available around on the web. So I'm just going to select one of the designs. Now, first thing to do, apply it as a frame, and now you can modify the color. There's a whole range of options there. You can just set it as a solid color, gradient, or a pattern. I'm just going to go for the gradient. I'm going to select one of the ones that comes with Photoshop. Now, once you've actually done that, what you can do, you can just quickly go over here to layers, just drag that across. And then just go to a layer and layer mask reveal all. Once you've done that, just click on there. Now, instead of actually using layers, I'm going to actually go now go to just going to go down here, select the ellipse. And I'm going to set that to pixels and I'm going to go for with black. So, what I'm going to do create a sort of mottled design. And one good thing about this is that the actual shape is totally untouched, so you're not adding sort of shapes to the actual shapes or, or removing so it's going to be holding the shift down you can actually just now to actually see that it is actually doing creating the holes in the shape i'm just going to add just like there just quickly go to layer style and drop shadow and you can see the actual there now just go back there and set with black and again chop into the design in numerous ways just add just to create a very mottled design okay just add that over thing and as I say it's totally untouched the actual shape so basically you can just get rid of that in any second so you can have maybe you decide you don't like that one or you want to you know, create another shape that's based this design but with a different sort of mottled design or maybe with a gradient or effects whatever to so you can just change it in seconds just by making that go back to white and then go again with different black. So once you've done that, what you can do then, of course, add it as a frame. So next thing to do, obviously I want an image, so I'm just going to quickly go to Place Embedded and I'm going to select that one. Now of course that's on top, so what you need to do, just quickly drag that there and you've got it on top. Do then move that around, and of course, with these designs, you can actually just cut, just rotate it, don't have to keep it there, or apply other transformations as well. You also, what you can do, you can hold the alt down and duplicate and create more sort of unusual combinations of frames. So, if you want to sort of frame it in a slightly different way, that's another option as well. Right, there you have it quick way of using gradients and also layer masks and also clean transformations. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.